Okay, so in this video, I want to show you some basic tips on how to use Koja. Again, it's not very complicated, but perhaps you'd want your environment to look exactly like what you see in um, the video tutorials. So once you've set up Koja, the first thing you can do is set up a site. You don't have to do this, but it makes it easier for you later on to start working. So click on the plus icon here and for the name of your site, just uh, you can put whatever you want. I'm going to put bootstrap course over here and next select the local route. So you can click on set and then choose the location of the course files that you have just downloaded. Okay, so this is the course file over here. There's a template site and there's also your project, but you can just use the main folder or the main enclosing folder over here and click on select to set that up. Now click on save. Okay, so the site has been set up and when you double click on that site, you can see uh, all the files of the site in the right hand section here. In the sidebar, you can see the files in your site, which is the course materials that you have been provided. So to start using the files, you can just double click on any of those files over here. And what Coda does is it opens a thumbnail of the site or the files that you're working with right on top. So if I open two files, I can easily switch between both the files by clicking on the icons over here. Now, um, to be more advanced, of course, uh, I don't really like to look at the icons over here. So for the rest of the course, what I'm going to do is I am going to remove the icons. So I'm going to click on text only. So that will look like this. But if you still want to see the icons, you can click on small icon and text. So you get something like this. It doesn't really matter. Actually, it's really up to you. Uh, but I do this just to save some space to be able to show you better. Now, the next thing that you can do is if the text is too small in Coda, in uh, the Mac environment, you can click on Command Plus or Apple Plus or whatever you want to call it. So when you click on Command Plus, the text actually gets larger and that makes it easier on the eyes, easier for you to uh, look at what you're doing. And you can click on Command minus to make the text smaller now your the color scheme of your editor may not look like mine and uh, by default of course so if you want it to look like this then you got to go to coda and click on preferences and under preferences for click on colors and then you'll be able to select your style sheet so by default i think it comes with coda bright something like that if it looks like this now this is way too bright for me so you can just change it to whatever you want over here and the one that i'm using throughout this course is called the panic palette okay and there's also one in gray called special spot so let's switch back to panic palette now if you don't see an option for panic palette over here it means uh, pr probably you don't have this palette in your local installation of coda so what you need to do is click on plugins okay and then you can uh, click on get more coda plugins that will bring you to the coda website with the plugins and on this page you can click on themes and here you have tons of themes, tons of stuff for you to choose from. Okay, so now let me get back to Coda itself. Okay, so this is how I set up Coda. And to create a split preview window like what you will see throughout this course, you have to click on this small plus icon over here. And now you'll see some options for uh, create a new document or preview or new untitled terminal or book. So I'm going to click on preview. And now you have the split window here for the preview. And this is how I choose to do the course because I want you to be able to see the real time changes as you are typing in the HTML. And I think that makes it really, really fun. You can click here at the divider and you can move this up or down to resize the window 
and you can also move this window to the left if you want to but i recommend that you just leave it like this it's the ultimate or the optimal uh, way for you to actually start editing the html files that i provide in this course okay so that is the basic how to for using coda and let's get on with the rest of this course to actually create and learn on bootstrap <laughs>